hi welcome back to my channel how are you all doing today i hope everyone is bouncing very well welcome if today is your first time of watching my program you are highly welcome for my old subscribers i say thank you for subscribing to my channel and if you are not yet subscribed to this wonderful channel why not consider hitting that red button that says subscribe beside it is a notification bell the essence of the bell is for you to be informed whenever i upload a new video please my viewers and my subscribers i beg you before you comment on any of my videos it is important that you watch the video for at least three to four minutes before you comment if you comment without watching the video, your comment will become spam comment. And it is not good for my channel. So for you to click that video to watch, it means that you like it. And there's a like button there. Hit that like button also. And you watch the video for at least four minutes. Then you comment. If you didn't do all these things, it will become spam and it is not good for my channel please i beg all of you watch the video all my videos are interesting and educative please watch it i would prefer if you can watch it to the end but if you don't have time to finish the whole video watch it at least three to four minutes so that your comment will be valid and subscribing to this channel or to me will never remove anything from you. It doesn't cost you anything. Move anything from your, your Wi-Fi or any network. It's free. Why not subscribe? Please, I beg you, subscribe to this wonderful channel. Yeah, today, still on the topic, I want us to discuss one-on-one, -on -one, like brothers and sisters, because I want good things for each and every one of us this year. So I want everybody to get busy this year. So I want to know, what is your plan for this year, 2020? We are almost at the middle of January. Before you know it, February, one, the year have come to an end. And you hear people say, wow, this year is running so fast. Yeah, it has started. What is your plan? What are you planning this year? What are you planning to achieve? What do you want to do with your life this year? Do you want to remain the same? Shouting, it is a new year. It is a new year. Will not change anything. It is only you who can change something about your life. You are the same person today as you will be five years, except for two things. One, the book you read and the company you keep. Every great destiny always suffers distraction, but when you remain, you remain focused, you shall overcome them. God's plan for our life cannot be fulfilled only by prayer and fasting. It requires the addition of practical input that our purpose may demand. Knowing where you are going is vision. What is required to get there is knowledge. This year has begun. What is your vision? What is your plan? What is your goals? Before you start planning of something, you have to know what you want to achieve. What is that thing that you want to achieve? When you understand or when you know what you want to achieve this year, the next thing is for you to work hard towards it. Working hard requires every bit of your strength, every uh, part in your body needs to work in order to achieve this. Then the next thing is being self-determined. You know, nothing 
that's that is so easy in this world i keep on telling people this there is nothing in this world we are that is easy that you can just lay your hand immediately and you get it in fact the good things it's always hard to get but the bad ones are so easy you can grab it for example it will be easy for you to steal steal something it will be easy for you to do something illegal but the genuine things the good things are so difficult why because they are good anything that you obtain so easily they are not good and they will not help your life so my viewers my fans i am speaking with you right now just as a sister make a plan for yourself this year if you are the type of person that have been roving about since last year you didn't achieve anything you 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 complain about the hardship everything is hard everywhere is hard so if you sit down there and uh, continue complaining it will not change anything it is only you who can change your situation how by doing something by involving yourself in something look for something that you can do this year to help yourself you work hard towards it be focused focus focus is very very important in anything that does in this world you need to you need to focus and you concentrate the next thing is you need to set a strategy after understanding or knowing what you want to achieve that is your goal then you work hard towards it after working hard you remain focused then another one is you set the strategy how you are going to achieve all these things make inquiries draw a map draw illustration if i should start this business today if i should start learning work today how am i going to start how much money do i need how much time do i need how much energy do i need how will i go about it you have to strategize this your plan then before you start implementing it it is only you that can help yourself apart from god you see some people are deceiving themselves they will go to church in the morning sleep in the church pray fast they are not doing anything you are deceiving yourself because god cannot throw money from heaven to you do you know how god blesses someone you must have something that you are doing then god will bless you through what you are doing when you are not doing anything how then will god help you you need to be doing something you you need to be engaged so that god will help you god will bless you through he said i am going to bless the work of thy hands which means this hand needs to be doing something don't sit at a place and be complaining you don't have this you don't have that what are you doing to obtain those things let us stop putting our trust in human beings that person that you are trusting or you are hoping that will help you have his or her own problem to solve you can even if you have a problem that is bigger than the money you have when you are doing something you can provide half then other person will assist you you don't just sit at a place and expect only one person to solve all of your problems it doesn't work like that and when the person is not giving you all the money the next thing you will tell the person is that he is wicked he has money he doesn't want to help us do you know how hard he work to those money that is what you should ask yourself so let us start doing something this is a new year the year has begun and 
fresh as well, you can still think of something that you can use to help yourself. Stop relying on human beings. Stop praying only. It is good to pray. Yes, prayer is very, very essential in our lives. But as you pray, you have to also do something to help yourself. Stop believing that when you go to church and sleep, after sleeping, you come back home. Before you get your house, uh, God will drop money in your uh, doorstep. That is, God is not a magician. He's a miraculous God. And he does his miracle in many ways, not by throwing money at you when you are not doing anything. God doesn't like lazy people. So you need to start doing something this year to help yourself, to help your family, to help your generation. It is even good for you to make out something because you can only be remembered by your good deeds. When you are loitering about, lazing about, doing nothing, it, the day you will give off, people will say, of what important is he when he was alive? Or he, achieve. He, he didn't achieve anything. He's a useless man. And when people call you useless man, you'll be angry. Of course, that is what you are. If you are not doing anything to help yourself, other people are training your children for you, and you are proud. So I believe that this information that I have just passed now, we have learned something from it. And I remind you again, please, please watch my videos. My videos are very, very educative and informative. Please watch it for at least three or four minutes. I would prefer if you can watch it to the end. But if you don't have such time to finish my video, you can watch it for at least three or four minutes before you comment. Don't comment without watching my video. Don't skip it. Because if you do, it will be a spam word and I will see it. I will know that you are not happy with me, that you don't want me to continue this program thank you and this person that is always turning down my videos i don't know what is your problem i don't know what i did to you as you are turning the the video down the rest of your hands are also turning down with you so whatever you are turning down you are also turning yourself down stop turning my video down if you don't like my video, just walk and pass. It's not a must that you watch it. People who knows the value of my video are watching it. So if you don't want to watch it, just go to other channels and watch them and stop turning my video down. I know you. I'm just informing you now. Thank you, my beautiful fans. Thank you for watching this, my video. Please, quick reminder again, subscribe and share this video with your friends, with your loved ones. Thank you so much. I love you. Bye-bye.